just have a tree right there in the window. Okay, so... That's German for Merry Christmas to you. So hello and guten tag and seasonal greetings. I am your host, Dr. Fripp, and whenever I do not perform illegal body modifications or surgeries or anything of the kind, I am usually in my hideaway reviewing horror movies. And if this does not look festive enough, I just have a tree right there in the window. Okay, so... As it is Christmas, welcome to Halloween at Christmas. This is just a one of Christmas special, and here it is. And so today I am reviewing Jack Frost, not the, to be confused with the 1998 uh, Michael Keaton film. I'm on about the 1997 comedy horror version, uh, written and directed by Michael Cudi, uh, co-written by Jeremy Page, starring Christopher. Alport, Stephen Mendel, um, F. William Parker, and Rod LaBelle, and Shannon Elizabeth. So basically, what happens here is a killer uh, on death row, uh, his truck, his van crashes into a truck with nuclear waste, and then his dead body blends with the snow, turning him into a killer snowman. You can't get any more cheesier than that. And then of course he goes out on a rampage, getting revenge on the cops and everything, and on killing. And of course, does it have some kills in it? Yeah. In fact, there's one kill where Shannon Elizabeth is in the bath, and it turns cold, and then it turns into the snowman, Jack Frost. And that's another thing. He can melt himself into water and kill, doing creative kills of the sort. Which is pretty witty and funny. Also, they try everything to get this snowman, melting him by fire, but of course it does not work because he just keeps coming back for more. But then they discover a weakness, oatmeal. How does the oatmeal work, I hear you say? I can't tell you that, you got to watch. But yeah, it is a funny, crazy film. You know, I very much enjoyed it. And what does that say on the camera timer? Uh, oh my, I'm running short on time on this camera. So, uh, basically, yeah, it is a fun film to watch. Not for the children though, but it is still entertaining. And I love the Christmassy movie, it is funny and crazy. And, of course, obviously, the old meal didn't do the work because he came back in a sequel, Jack Frost 2. So yeah, final thoughts and ratings. The cinematography was great. It was not good. Apologies. There was a fault with the camera there. But anyway, yeah. The cinematography was okay. Uh, the acting in it, uh, it was a sort of alright, I guess. Enough to be convincing, I guess. Uh, the creativity and the killer and the antagonist I say it's quite creative I get uh, you know uh, but we have too many killer snowmen in horror stuff now like in Doctor Who in the 2012 Christmas special anyway time for final four time for the ratings uh, I'm going to give Jack Frost I think I'll just give this one a free on this occasion free um, snowmen killings Three killings from a snowman in the bath out of five. So that has been my review on um, Hall on Jack Frost. And this has been Halloween at Christmas. So until then, I bid you all happy to say goodbye and Merry Christmas. I say that in English this time. And yeah, I will see you. I will be back New Year's Day with the brand new series of Halloween in January with my new co-host as usual, Frank N. Stein.
and he is my creation I created in the season 2 prequel. So to 